Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Mark Allender. I'm the one running the Kickstarter campaign for Charlie Peacock's West Coast Diaries Volume 2. And I'm here with David Dobson, who shot the photo for the, uh, the cover of the original cassette and the whole uh, series of photographs that we're going to be using for the artwork. So, uh, David, introduce yourself. Hey, um, Charlie Peacock fans, um, I am one of you, and um, I grew up in uh, India and Egypt, and in high school in Egypt, I heard uh, Charlie Peacock music and uh, freaked out, loved it, and um, I had this plan that when I got back to America for college that I had to meet this Charlie Peacock guy, and so I moved to Southern California for school, and um, he was doing a show, and I went over and met him and um, introduced myself, said I was a young photographer and, you know, loved his music and everything. And he said, well, if you're ever coming through Sacramento, uh, give me a call and uh, we'll go from there. So um, then he did another show, which was a showcase at the Roxy in um, Hollywood. And um, the 77s opened for Charlie Peacock, and um, those two bands together just confirmed for me that I wanted to do photography uh, with music. And so um, I was actually driving home from Los Angeles up to Seattle to visit my family, and I called Charlie and I said, hey, I'm driving up. Um, any chance I could uh, swing by and um, do some pictures with you? And so he said, yeah, sure, just you know, call me when you get here. So um, I did, and I pulled an all-nighter. Um, and um, drank about a gallon of Thai iced coffee and rocked my way all the way up from Newport Beach to Sacramento, met him at his house, and um, I remember kind of like just having enough uh, energy to stand at the door and knock. He answers the door and looked at me, and he goes, you need a nap. So I said, oh, thanks, man. And so um, he invited me in, and he said, um, have you had anything to eat? And I'm like, no, nah, I have I just drove all the way all night. He goes, okay, I'm going to make you a sandwich. So uh, Charlie's wife made the most amazing um, purple dough bread with uh, walnuts in it. And uh, I think it was like tuna fish salad or something. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. So I ate that, took a little nap, a power nap, woke up, and uh, Charlie's all like, are you ready to shoot? So we go out, and uh, we just start taking pictures and having fun. And um, it was awesome being able to ask him some questions and, you know, what's it like and telling him my story, being a missionary kid um, in uh, Egypt and listening to his music and just, you know, wanted to thank him for the music that I had been listening to. So um, that's my story. That's how I got involved with the project. And then um, Jimmy Abeg, um, who I also liked, he was in a band called Vector, and he wound up doing the artwork and some of the illustrations on it. And uh, later on, uh, several years later, like maybe 10 years or 15 years later, I wound up meeting Jimmy um, in Nashville and becoming good friends with him and um, laughing over the fact that he did the artwork for West Coast Diaries, and I didn't know that. So um, uh, that's a little bit of photo trivia with the Charlie Peacock West Coast Diaries 2 project. Excellent, excellent. Um, the that particular shoot took you over a lot of different places. It looks like you're kind of in a, uh, a swamp area or maybe a, a lake. Yeah. Yeah. We just, um, um, he suggested uh, going over to this park area. And so um, I think, um, I think I probably shot about three, maybe three or four rolls of film. It went really fast and there's only 36 pictures per roll. So um, just shot, 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 and I remember his shoes, and he had these um, a black pair of dress shoes, maybe they were Doc Martens, and he had um, these silver um, pin studs um, poked into the, um, to the uh, rim of the sole, and I thought that was so cool, and I've always wanted a pair of those. I didn't get any as of yet, but it's still on my list. There's time, right? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And uh, you told me before that this was like your very first. Yeah, when when I moved back to the States, um, I had a, a, a whole hit list of things that I wanted to do, people I wanted to meet. And um, uh, that night at the Roxy, at that showcase, um, um, was kind of like a turning point for me. And from then on, I was like, man, I got to get around music. I want to shoot music. 
I like musicians. I like music and, um, you know, uh, the creative energy that's there. And so uh, this project with Charlie actually w turned out to be my first official um, photo shoot that became um, packaging. So it was my first music uh, world project. Yeah. What other, uh, what other artists have you shot for or any particular albums that you could mention that maybe people have heard? Uh, well, there's a whole bunch. I wound up um, having that dream come true many times over. And um, so uh, uh, soon after shooting with Charlie, um, I got to shoot with the 77s um, for an album called Pray Naked. Oh, and, um, Yeah, and that was uh, uh, my first album that ever got banned. Um, it was their album, but um, I guess the, um, the stores didn't approve of the title. And um, there's a whole interesting story behind that photo shoot, which was in Calcutta, India. And um, so 77s were fun. And then um, I moved to Nashville and wound up uh, traveling with the Newsboys and photographing everyone from Michael W. Smith, Amy Grant, Third Day, um, on and on and on and on and on, and just loved it. And I, I always enjoy uh, working with music and musicians. And then at one point, Charlie asked me to photograph this new band um, in uh, Orange County. Um, and they were kind of like high schoolers, kind of skater surfer guys, and um, they were switch foot. And ah. so they were just getting started. And um, I went over, met their parents, took pictures of them at their home. And I actually got to sit down and play drums with them um, on one song, just kind of like a, a little jam session. I had no idea that they would become Switchfoot. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You just never know who you're going to meet. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And you're still working as a photographer professionally. Yes. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, when you actually got the West Coast Diaries cassette, you know, with your photo on it, what was that like? I thought it was really cool. It's like um, it was kind of like a dream come full circle. You know, I I, I want I listened to Charlie's music. I wanted to meet him. I got to meet him, and then uh, wound up doing photos with him. And then it was uh, kind of like a surprise honor that um, they used the pictures for um, that project. And I was just like, wow, this is really cool. Dreams do come true. <laughs> excellent, excellent, cool. All righty. Well, uh, I appreciate you talking to me and uh, and sharing your story with all the backers. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for um, pushing hard to get this um, re-released and on vinyl this time. So I'm excited to um, to uh, play it and um, have some awesome flashbacks. And uh, thank you for all the effort um, that you've gone through to make this happen. All right, man. You take care. Thank you for talking to us, and uh, we'll see you around. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right.